If you've watched one of my previous videos on how to actually enable title bars on Hyperland, okay, you'll most probably also want to figure out a way to toggle them between one keybind and the other so that you don't have to just be stuck with having title bars enabled or not, okay? So that you can actually turn it into more of a choice that you can change on the fly instead of having to type in a command every single time you want to turn it off or on. So in order to do that, there's a really simple way, but let me just show you the basics of how you can get title bars set up before you can actually go about adding a toggle for them. So let's actually go to Hyperland Plugins' wiki. That's going to be github.com, hyperwm, Hyperland Plugins. Okay, so here we are, and the plugin that's going to facilitate this is going to be Hyperbars. So you click here, and once you do that, this is the kind of title bar that you can expect. Now, the way that I've configured title bars, this is what it looks like. So if I press super Y, this is the title bar, okay? Now, the buttons over here are the same as the traffic light buttons on Mac OS, where this stands for close, and then the middle button stands for minimize, which sends it to the special workspace. So if I press this middle button again, it sends it back to the workspace on which it previously was. And then let's say I hit this green button, what happens is it's basically maximized. So if I open any other windows, they're not going to be visible unless I choose to minimize this window, in which case the rest of the windows are visible. And if I want to turn this off, in whichever case that I wanted to, I can press mod shift Y and that turns off the title bus. If you notice, this title bar is actually colored to a specific theme, the theme which I can actually change using this theme switcher over here. Let's say I wanted to change the theme, I picked something like Everforest, and as you can see over here, the colors of the title bar automatically shifted and adapted to whatever theme that I chose. I can pick another theme, let's say Tokyo Night, and the same thing happens. The colors of the title bar, along with the colors of any other app that I choose, adapt to the theme of my choice. Now I can show you this as an example with other apps as well. Let's say I pick BS Codium. Okay, so this is a text editor that you most likely have already used before. Okay, now let's open niche here as a fetch tool. And let's after that, also open something like Discord. Okay, now this is probably going to be your typical setup where you're talking to friends over here, you're talking to people who you need to talk to, here you're actually writing your code. And then here you have a fetch or you have a cool terminal program open for whatever reason. You can replace this with any other productive app that you want, okay? Now, if I choose to change the theme to something like Cappuccino, watch what happens. It changes the theme for every single app at once. It does it for VS Codium, does it for the fetch tool, for terminal basically, and for Discord as well. I can change whichever theme that I want really, and it happens every single time. It also works for file managers and basically every app that you can think of. So yeah, that's great. If you want to know how to make something like this, I teach you how to do this step by step, I basically hold your hand and guide you through the exact process of how this is to be done in the first link in the description. So if you want to know how to make something like this, without monkey see monkey do copying somebody else's setup, and then oops, just hoping that that setup never breaks, because trust me, that setup will break. And eventually, you're going to come across a point where you wish that you had somebody to teach you exactly how to do this so that you wouldn't have to deal with your setup breaking every two seconds, because you have no idea how it works. If you want to avoid all of that, skip all of the hassle, skip all the bad stuff, just get straight to the good stuff of Linux rising, which is being able to make setups that look as amazing as this, right? Go ahead, click the first link in the description and I'd love to help you out. Okay, now back here. How exactly do we add this toggle? Before we can add the toggle, we have to install the plugin. So let's click on Hyperland plugins, main thing, main repo. And first you have to run hyperpm update. Once you're on update, it's going to update hyperpm's headers and whatnot. Once it does that, you have to add this repo and then just enable the plugin with hyper PM enable hyper bars. Now, once you do that, your config is still not going to look as good as this. So there are a couple more settings that you'll have to tweak, tweak and tinker. So if I show you instead of config, hyper modules, this is in plugins.conf. Oh, and if you're wondering what this modules folder is about, I, it's basically, look, it's taking one file and splitting it into multiple files, something I call modularity which I also teach in extreme detail in the first link in the description. In fact, let me just show you. Yeah, so right here in anti-fragile modularity, I teach you why make things modular, the apps we can make modular, and how exactly to go about doing so. So this is pretty sure a 40 minute module on how this is to be done. Yep, around 40 minutes. And if you want to know how the theme switcher thing works, that is going to be inside here. Yep, 
So this is a two and a half hour long module, or two hour long module actually, on how exactly you can go about implementing theme switchers, how exactly you're supposed to go about doing that. So what they actually are, and then we get into the code of how you're supposed to do this, and I explain everything in detail. So if you want to know how to do this, first link in the description is your friend. Great, so let's go here. And as for hyperbars, these are the settings that I have used in order to configure it to look like this. The bar height is 33, bar color, bar blur. You can just copy these settings on screen in order to get the same bars. Just pause the video, copy the settings. Okay, and once you've done that, now we'll focus on adding the toggles. How exactly is the toggling part done? Well, that is going to be inside of config hyper modules binds.conf. Okay, now if we look for hyper bars here, you find it. Now, I do this in a bit of a different way, okay? Because by default, what happens is hyperbars does not like to play nice with being toggled using hyperctl without using plugin, okay? So all that to say, this is the method which is supposed to use in order to most effectively toggle hyperbars on and off. So what we're doing here is basically loading the plugin. The plugin is a .so file, okay? So we're taking this path and we're storing it inside of a variable called hyperbars. And once we do that with mod y, okay, we're just executing hyperctl plugin load hyperbars. So we're loading the plugin with mod y. And if we want to unload, we just type mod shift y, and that'll unload the plugin hyperbars. Usually what happens is if you don't use this loading and unloading mechanism of plugins using hyperctl, you see this annoying little goddamn notification in the top right, which makes things just look so much uglier and much less seamless. Okay, there is a way to turn the notifications off, which is to just execute a different command and then dismiss the notification immediately using hyperctl dismiss notify. But then there is absolutely no reason for us to do that when there is a much more robust and simpler and basically better way in order for us to basically load and unload the plugin, which is what we're doing here. So all we're doing is just getting this .so file, storing it in a variable, and then loading and unloading the variable here, which is basically going to be this hyperbars.so file. That is how it's done. That's it. That's literally it. There is nothing else that goes into toggling bars. Now, configuring hyperbars is a different story. I've made a video on it in the past. If you want, you can go ahead and check that out. I explain each of the options that I show you earlier in detail, in much more detail. So if you want to know how to configure the bar to look this way, you can check that video out on hyperbars. Otherwise, this is how you add a toggle in. Instead of using hyperctl dismiss notify, you just do it this way so that you don't get the notification and it basically works every single time. If you want to know how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, along with a waybar theme switcher over here, but basically you can choose whichever waybar theme you want as well and have that adapt to your system, go ahead, click the first link in the description and I would love to help you out. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising.